Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us. In Python, which is fastest, and how well do they scale? The get method on the base Python dictionary, or the counter object in the collections module, or the series object in the pandas data frame module or library, or the series object in the polders uh, module. The new kid on the block, right? written in Rust under the hood. Now, the reason I ask this question now is because on a previous video, a viewer left a comment. At Saitaro or Saitaro uh, mentions that for this task, you could use, you can make use of pandas. And then they give some code right there that could use in pandas, okay? And they also say, or the counter from the standard library from the collections um, module in Python. And they say the counters is implemented in C with this function in C. And in their little benchmark run, they found that counter was faster than pandas when looking at 884,000 words on their, their uh, machine. So I'm curious to know uh, which of these is faster, but also how well they scale. Like if I start with a, a file that has, um, if I start with a file that has say 10 words, how well do these scale? Or how well, you know, which is faster? How about 100 words or 1,000 words or a million words or 230 million words? How well are they gonna scale these different uh, approaches? So that's what I've written up in Python. Let's take a look here. So I just made a function for each of these um, approaches and I'll actually break up the get method on the base uh, Python dictionary into two approaches. One is a line by line approach where I open a connection to the M file and I go line by line and then get the words out of that line and then just populate my dictionary with the get method right there on line 12. Let me zoom in a bit there. So that is one approach that I'm going to use um, is a line by line approach. The reason I use that one is because I'm curious to know if it gets quicker at some point when a file is so big that it's hard for the computer to read in the whole file at once into memory, into the RAM if it's better to just go line by line and not bring the whole file in um, memory at once. The second one, the second function here on my line 15 is what I'm gonna call slurp. I'm gonna slurp in the whole file, all the text, and then at that point, get the, get the uh, frequencies with the get method on the dictionary. And then here is my, um, my counter approach using the counter uh, object from the collections there. And you have to again, slurp in, that is read in all the, text from the file at once and then break it up into words and then throw all those words, a list of words at the counter object there. Here's my pandas. I am again, just slurping in everything and then handing it over to series and then asking the value counts. Now I will point out that this returns a data frame in pandas rather than a dictionary in Python. Um, there is a two dictionary method that Citato actually used in, in their code. Um, I'm not going to use it here because that, that part is less important to me than just getting the frequencies. So I'll get the frequencies, but I'll return it as a data frame. And then here's my polars function. And it's basically the same thing as the pandas, but in polars, the new kid on the block, written, written in Rust under the hood. All right, so I'm going to use, um, I've actually created, let me show you real quick, I've created a handful of files. So here is one file. And it has literally 10 words. The first 10 words of the Spotify podcast data set. The next file has 100 words. And there they are. There are the 100 words in the, the first 100 words in that uh, same data set. And then I have all the way up to, from there I go 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, a million, 10 million, 100 million. And then I go all the way up to 230 million words, which is the largest file I have in my hard drive. I'm curious to see how it's going to scale. Okay. So I have done uh, five trials. It takes quite a, a bit of time here. I've done five trials for each um, file as well as each of the different ways of getting frequencies. And so that's what we're going to do. And I've already done so. I just used the performer counter uh, in Python to, to time this step right there of, of running one of these functions, or running all the functions here. So 
Let's take a look. And I double checked that I'm getting the same results. So there's no, there's no issue with getting different results. I'm getting the same results, but here are the results. Graphed up in, plotted up in R. And as you can see, let's just take a look here. What do we see here? Well, we see that um, when we're up at 230 million words, the line by line approach in orange right there is actually the fastest way. That is, as I hypothesized, when you get a big enough file, it actually is more costly to read the whole thing into memory at once and then get the frequencies. It's actually better to just grab line by line from the file and then populate a dictionary with the get method on the base Python dictionary. But if we go down here to, um, um, this is 100 million words about the middle of my, my plot, we can see that the counter is actually faster in, in, in uh, pink right there. Counter is actually faster down there. In fact, let's actually, let's zoom in a bit on some of these. Let's try about 10,000 words. Let's see what we can get about at 10,000 words. Okay, let's actually zoom in a bit more on that. About like this. Okay, so we're looking at 10,000 words or fewer. This is what we have here. We can see that the slurp approach, which is the way... Um, I mentioned where you slurp in all the words and then you use the get method on the dictionary, just the base Python dictionary in gray there, that gray line is the, is the lowest line. So that's actually quicker with 10,000 or fewer words. Um, again, the counter is in pink here. That's the third line up from the bottom. The polars is in green there. It is second in second place. And then the line by line down here is actually slower. And then pandas is slowest up there in blue. So, Again, um, way at the top end, let's go back to that view real quick. Way at the top end of everything, when we are looking at everything, we have 230 million words in one file that we're asking it to get frequencies on, and we um, slurp it in. It's actually slower to do that than just go line by line. But when you have a, a smaller file, you know, even at 100 million words or fewer in one file, that counter object is quickest in, in pink there. And inter interestingly, interestingly uh, pandas and polars are both slowest up here in blue and green. Uh, but these kind of base ways as well as the counter object in collections are quicker with uh, more words. So let's go back to our question in Python, which is fastest and how well do they scale? Well, depends um, if you have a, a truckload of words in one file and it's too costly or it's very costly to read in the whole text all the text into memory at once then going that line by line approach using the get uh, method on the dictionary is best um, but counters is actually quicker than the others um, when you have a couple million or up to 100 million words but down below 10,000 words, it was actually quicker to slurp in all the text and use the base Python uh, method on the dictionary then. So yeah, it kind of depends on how many words you have in your, your files. Um, and I was surprised that Polar's uh, wasn't quickest uh, in any of my runs. Pandas was seemingly the slowest. It seemed like it was the slowest in all the runs there. But yeah, counter is quicker um, often with um, 10,000 plus to maybe 100 million words in there. So, yeah, it, when we're looking down, let's go back to the, the R real quick. Let's look at, if we look down again at the, say, 10,000 or fewer range. Now, these seconds, you can see on the left-hand side on the X, on the Y axis, that is, these are seconds. And so these four right here are taking about two milliseconds or two thousandths of a second. So if this is a one-off thing, like you're just running one file to do this, then obviously it doesn't really matter in practical terms which one of these five you use. But if you have, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of files that you're running over, then, you know, trying to squeeze the last, you know, performance juice out of this, these uh, functions is worth, probably worth your time. But um, yeah, so there you have it. They're all pretty close. But I, I was surprised to see that the line by line approach was best when I had 230 million words in one TXT file that I was asking it to work on. But counters was um, 
quickest when we had um, from like a million up to 100 million words. So let's go back to this view here. That in pink right there, that line in pink on the bottom is quickest um, when you have like a million to 100 million words in a file. So anyway, there you go. Another question I had as an empiricist and I am hoping this was useful to you or interesting at least. If so, give me a like or a comment. Maybe I can learn something from um, what you tell me. I enjoy getting comments and I enjoy learning from my commenters, right? For example, the one today from Saitaro. Thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you like as well. See you next time.